What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. Today I'm going to be doing a video to show you exactly how you can pull a cash buyer's list from PropStream. Uh, if this video helps you out in any type of a way, give it a thumbs up, give it a share if you care and uh, subscribe if you haven't already to the YouTube channel and bang that bell for the notifications. So here we go. We're going to be uh, logged into the prop stream. If you want to get the free seven day trial for this, go to wokesource.com. The links in the description of the video here, wokesource.com, get your seven day trial, try it out and you'll be hooked. So here you go. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm looking in a particular area for a cash buyer. So I'm looking in Manchester, Missouri. I have a house over there I'm working on. And so I thought I was going to pull a list to see what we got as far as cash buyers. So when you put in up here at the top, you can put in um, a city, a state. You can even put in a zip code. But I just put in the name, the city and state. So Manchester, comma, Missouri. And you always want to let it populate. So like say if I typed it in like that and it didn't show up, you want to put it in and always hit this little gray part right here to make sure it populates properly to get the town or city that you're actually looking for. So now that we have that up, um, basically we would click right here where it says cash buyers and this will pop up and it'll automatically filter, which you click this filter right up top. You see it's already set to cash buyers or you can change it to do these other things in here. On market, vacant, liens, pre foreclosures, auctions, bank owned, cash buyers, and all the other stuff here. Look like they added this new thing, flippers, on here too. Now, I haven't used that yet. But for today's training, we're using cash buyers. So we want to do cash buyers, non owner occupied. I want to make sure it's a cash buyer that didn't buy it for themselves. And if you notice, if you toggle between um, the two different ones, sometimes this number will change over here. So, like you see behind here, it has 271. It's the same, 271 for non-owner occupied. Now, if we said we wanted vacant, we can do that too. That would change this number as well, probably. Let's see. Vacant, only 19. So yeah, we don't want that small list. We want any. We don't care if it's vacant or not. We just want to know that it was bought by a cash buyer. Then we want to go into property characteristics where we can uh, go in here and select. We want residential, single family. You see, you got all those other choices here, multifamily, condo, apartments and all this other stuff, patio home. I don't even know, what's a patio home? Never even seen one of those, don't wanna live in that. So single family, you can go down here and choose bedrooms, minimum bedrooms, bathrooms, and square footage. Uh, if I change it to three, that'll knock it down a little bit, but I don't wanna do that because the house I'm working on is a three, two. So I'm gonna leave that as 195. Um, scrolling down here, everything else looks good. MLS status, you can put on market or not. Let's see if they bought it off market. So it changes a little bit, but I don't want to really tinker with too much of this. Just letting you see that you can uh, adjust these filters to make it narrow down. Uh, foreclosure or not, we want to exclude foreclosures. Let me see what happens if I exclude it. It didn't change much. It's still 193. Still a pretty nice number. So I'm going to uncheck that. So you can toggle this stuff and just see what happens here, you know, just to see if it changes anything. Ownership info. We definitely want to say individual because I want to be able to find them. I could put it on corporate, but you see it knocked like half the people down. So I'm looking for individuals that'll buy it. If I put corporate in here mixed with it or mixed or trust, it's a possibility that I wouldn't be able to skip trace them. I could still find their information on the Secretary of State website, but I really didn't want to go through that. I'm looking for individuals on this time. I might come back and do a separate search for corporate, but I'm just going to do this for the training as of now. So um, we got this here absentee owner you can even choose if they're out of state you want an out-of-state investor oh 13 houses were bought by people out of state out of the country let's see what comes up i'm just looking now for searching criteria 11 people out of the country wow out of the county i said country out of the county and then local i was thinking out of the country i'm like dang prop stream getting worldwide so prop stream does work all 50 states united states not worldwide yet we know it's coming soon. And then you can look down here for liens and other stuff as well. If you want to check out different types of liens, if it's active, uh, what different type of lien, child support lien, all this different stuff here. But we don't need any of this for the training we're doing today. The valuation info that'll show the growth percentage, the estimated equity. We don't need any of that for what we're doing here. Just letting you see what all it can do. 
you can even check off free and clear or cash bar. We're already under cash bar, so it wouldn't change anything. So we got 78 results, cash bars that fit the parameters that I set forth. As a matter of fact, let me go back up here. Uh, let's see here. Pricing, estimated value. The house I'm trying to sell is about, we want to get about 224. So we want to say anybody who bought a house that spent 200 or more estimated value. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it knocks it down a little bit, but I'm going to leave it alone for now. I'm just going to leave it as what it says and assume that whoever is a cash buyer that's going to get this house that I have for sale is possibly going to be able to come up with the money. So we have, so once you close this, you see we have 78 records over here, all these people. And it tells the price here. They bought that for 202. They bought that for 106 cash. 230 cash, 280 cash. These are all cash buyers and it's 78 of them. It only shows about uh, one to 10 at a time over here on the left. So once I've gotten this list here, I'm gonna click off this little check mark at the top. That'll select all 78 records. We're gonna add to a new list, create a list. So that's to a list we already have. This here is create a new list. We're gonna name this cash buyers in Manchester Mo, right? And we're gonna save it, boom. We just saved 78 properties to the cash buyers list in Missouri. So then you come over here to your left side, this little thing pops out when you pull over to the left and you go to properties right here. You should be able to pull up. It shows you all the stuff. We have 12,000 listings in here. So that's a lot. We don't want that. So we actually want contacts. We want to get our contacts. This shows you all of that. So these are the different searches that you can pull within here. And you can actually skip trace within this list here. Um, let me see what we do here. So this is gonna be kind of expensive to skip trace. There's 30 cents each. I usually don't recommend it, but it's only 78 names. So let's see what happens. So when you come over here to skip trace, as you see here, these are the prices. One to 500 is gonna be 30 cents each. You do more, be a little cheaper. Do more to be a little cheaper. You do 5,000 or more to get it down to 16 cents each. So that's pretty cheap, I guess, if you're doing 5,000 or more. It's not bad, that's, a, that's comparable to the market. So 30 cents is full blown retail, but since the list is so small, I guess it wouldn't matter. So you would click that, come over here, and what do we say that was called? Cash buyers in Manchester, Missouri. That's the one we want. So once we have that, it'll populate there. You'll just push add selected. It'll come down here to the bottom by itself, press done. And then it shows you here that the list is selected, press next. It's gonna cost me $21 to skip trace this. It even tells you here that two contacts have been omitted due to being duplicates or having been appended already or having insignificant information. So, or insufficient information. So I could place the order and get the, uh, this list back in probably a few minutes. So if we didn't do that, here's another way we could have did it. We could have uh, went over here, like I said earlier, you go to your actual properties and this has your marketing list over here. You go down to the list we just did, cash buyers in Manchester, Missouri. As we see, one of them has a deal on market here. This computer stuff is so smart, it knows everything. Uh, you would click this little check mark here to highlight all 78, press export, this little export button right here above and then you can export that list and put it into wherever you want to skip trace this list and uh, do whatever you want to do with it whether you're going to send them out text messages whether you're going to send them emails whether you're going to send them cold calls whether you're going to call them and dial them yourself whether you're going to use a ringless voicemail system like i would use many ways to market to them but that's basically what you would do if you're pulling a list here on prop stream like i said if you haven't signed up for it yet get a free seven-day trial at wokesource.com wokesource.com i get you, let y'all look at my list there y'all gonna get my list get my cash bars man i just had it up on the screen man it's only 78 people it don't matter anyway so hopefully that helps you out if you have any questions comments or concerns put it in the comments below and i'll try to answer the best of my ability like i said give this video a thumbs up before you leave don't you dare leave here without giving it a thumbs up and don't forget we're going live each and every monday night here in the month of december seven o'clock central time we got special guests coming up next week we got a loopy g coming on last week we had david randolph talking about short sales before that we had chris haskins talking about private money we got a lot of good stuff coming up for you each and every monday night live on the chris monroe show seven o'clock central time right here so do what you do be who you be 
and I'll see you before you see me. Peace out, family.